Alrighty, and hello everyone, this is the Legacy of Daniel uh, podcast, this is episode 3, and uh, this is the, um, I guess still in the Manifest Destiny uh, season, and uh, this morning, um, I think uh, I got an interesting topic. Uh, that I can talk about in this show. Um, probably not going to be a uh, very popular one, or may not be one that um, is, you know, understood by all. But um, destiny um, needs to be something that each and every person uh, one has a right to, uh, has a right to their own identity and how they wish to pursue that and grow up into uh, their identity. Uh, preferably through, uh, you know, self-knowledge, wisdom, um, understanding, all very important, and leads them to living a, a rational uh, life based in uh, reality. Reality, um, a reality that requires them to be uh, a member of the community, member of society, uh, in, you know, various different ways through their vocation, um, just being a uh, um, a member of a family, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, but what we need to do is really step away from this you know, anti-creative, anti-creativity, anti-identity, um, anti-free uh, will. So we need um, a little bit more room for creativity and individuals to have a say, um, not do what they want, but um give them a little bit more of an understanding give them some room so they can have understanding and the wisdom to know that they have a purpose meaning in life and that they can take control of their life often what we have now is um this very uh, deterministic type of mindset where children young adults need to just go along with the program uh, they need to fall in line with structure early on and as this happens they lose a sense of their creativity, sense of themselves, and ultimately it kind of um, causes society to erode and decay a little bit because we now just have a bunch of copycats. Uh, we have nothing really new coming in the pipeline um, because of this lack of creativity and just this ultra rigid uh, structure um, that comes from someone else's ideals on morality and so every person needs to come to an understanding of their own kind of concept on morality and whether or not they're going to live a life by morality which is extremely hard and difficult or are they going to live a life based upon um, obedience which is what we're really here to do um, so they have to make a make a choice obedience uh, is really the key to uh, to faith, I guess you can say, and to uh, being a competent, intelligent um, member of the community. Uh, obedience is how we um, fulfill our identity, our vocation, it's how we mature, um, and it's also how we um, better help uh, others around us. So what do we, uh, I guess, need to do? Well, those in charge need to um, need to create an environment that facilitates the understanding that we all have a very uh, noble purpose here and it requires us to have um, understanding but also the courage to kind of reach out and have this understanding so that we can cultivate begin cultivating our identity uh, early on in life and what we kind of wish to to become wish to pursue and we need to be allowed to to do that because the more we are allowed to do that the more we'll be able to um, support uh, those around us become a better member of the community a productive member or competent member that can solve problems and we don't need any more people just sitting back um, typing away uh, blaming others blaming this blaming that blaming that for the problems in the world we need problem solvers we need solutions and ultimately that really comes from people um, 
really have a creative mindset and are not afraid to uh, step outside the boundaries of structure or morality and really just kind of grab life by the horns and um, take it on, not just for themselves, but for a, a greater greater calling, a greater purpose. Um, so what we have in our life, in our society today is what we call the, what I'm calling the Captain America Society, is that we have a lot of chaos, a lot of people breeding chaos ever since uh, the 60s. And there's a lot of people that make money off this chaos. And they know they make money, and they like it. And they like the chaos, and they like the money. And so they go hand in hand. What they don't like is they don't like people that uh, can problem solve. They don't like people that settle early on in life. They don't like people that make good decisions, rational decisions. They don't like people that then also uh, could be a good leader, competent leader, that also get uh, people to kind of fall in line with this uh, doctrine, which is very good for society, very good for the country. And it's really what our society was you know, built upon. Um, competent, problem-solving, courageous people, seeking seeking a destiny, something greater, not just for themselves, but for others, willing to work, put in the work. And But now we just have chaos. And what everyone is hoping is through this chaos is that the Captain America will come out of the chamber, the chamber of, I guess, hell you can say, and going to rise up and just stand up and... Um, solve all the problems but this person will not be able to solve problems because he is not prepared to solve problems and he's would just ultimately um either he'll do one of two things he'll either join the side of the chaos breeding people that caused him much suffering or he'll realize that his persecutors who they truly are and he'll just decide to leave society and just um, not be really much of a partaker, partaker in society, not really care for solving society's problems. He'll just uh, maybe go into think something like homesteading, get a acquire a skill, maybe a decent job, live a very small, humble life uh, within his means, well below his means even, just to avoid um, playing the game that these chaos breeding people breed in an attempt to um, draw somebody out to play Captain America to stand up and go protect, uh, go up and protect them against enemies that they intentionally created. So we can't really have that anymore in society. So this Captain America uh, society kind of needs to kind of needs to come to an end, um, and we need to have um, a very um, new. Uh, we need to take a new look at how we interact with one another and interact with society and it can't be out of a comic book anymore or it can't be out of uh, some classical literature and it can't be out of some you know sporting uh, you know some, you know college athletes uh, or professional athletes career it needs to be there are a lot of people suffering there's a lot of people that have their lives swiped away from them because of these people um, and those who have the courage, the creativity, the competence, the skills to fight back against this beast, um, they need to start fighting back. Uh, and there's a lot of people that want the chance to be able to express themselves, have their own identity, have purpose in life, have meaning, um, even uh, just have the opportunity to just have a, a, a decent life, a decent home, a uh, place to raise children. And there's a lot of people that are just taking that uh, taking that away. And they're taking that away intentionally because they make a lot of money from it. And they don't, they don't care of the repercussions because they're just always going to continue making money off chaos. Doesn't matter what kind of chaos, doesn't matter how small or how large, they will always be making money. So we'll end this episode here. Um, Manifest your destiny. Take control. It is your divine right to be an individual, to have self-knowledge, to have wisdom and understanding, to see the world um, that really ultimately serves your destiny best because if you truly want to pursue something great, then there's a good chance that you have to do it through virtue. Um, and if you do it through virtue, then 
people around you are going to benefit from it. So don't be uh, afraid to pursue uh, your destiny. Don't be afraid to manifest it. Don't be afraid to um, be creative, be an individual, take risks. Just do it rationally. Just do it through um, hope in a, in a better future for yourself and others. Uh, don't take irrational risk. Be, be competent, be courageous, and don't be afraid to you know, study failure, ask for uh, help, all those fun things. Um, but we need to turn this ship about onto something that serves uh, society better.